Well, all right, we made it down here to the boat dock. This is uh, the ferry bridge boat dock. Have no idea exact location, so, but it's here. My wife's driving my my blazer, my pride and joy, my baby. <laughs> now I got a new one, so it don't matter. Mm. As you can see, we got the big tires on here, so we're gonna probably flip, but it does have them wheel extensions now, so it should be a little better. So we're, we're going over here under this bridge and we're just gonna kinda hit down this little path and do that hill climb I was talking about. We'll see how this goes. Well guys, this place was clean last time I came. It's the other place I go, and it's always messy, so I kinda wanted to come here and look. You got some rubber gloves down here, wonder why. Don't wanna get your hands dirty fishing, I guess. We got every, all kinds of fish and stuff. Gloves, gloves, trash. I didn't bring trash back today, but people clean up your mess, please. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go over here. We're going to try to cruise this path. Right. Let's, uh, we're going to just cruise them over and bring it on. Mm, just in the water. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. It's hard to pick up someone else's trash because you don't know. It's hard enough for us, but like from the kids, grandkids, yeah. around the fish or something, it's like this. Exactly. Again, we got the uh, Hobby Wing 1080 in both trucks, and we got a Holmes Hobby motor in both trucks. Hers is just a slightly slower turn, and they're awesome trucks. <laughs> so, so, all right, we're kind of doing a little bit of a shootout with the trucks here in a way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow this little path around and then let her do it. We'll just see how, how bad it looks for each person, I guess. Or we know that both these trucks are awesome. My big tires are going to give me a heck of an advantage. But we also know there's disadvantage in all this. Look at that control, though. I'm going to lock my diffs on in so I don't look bad. I can't see where I'm at, actually. There we go. These huge jumbo tires is going to make it easy for a lot of things, but the top heavy stuff is going to flip easy. I know, I don't want to flip it or scratch it yet. All right, next. You can lock them in if you want to now. Just have them ready. It's the same as your truck, basically, just a little different. It's got more slow control for downhill and everything. Over here, oh. you're already going the wrong way. Okay. So you went through here. <laughs> yeah, I went right through there. There you go. No, I couldn't get over that big rock, I don't think. And this one won't take off rolling like yours does. It's got a lot more of a finesse to it. Very nice. Now we're going to come on down this little path and then I'm going to decide if I'm going to conquer this hill climb or not today. We're going to try it, of course, but... You can wait until I go, and then we'll take turns. I'm on downhill, so I'm gonna unlock my disc. But I have a real, hmm. I always come down here usually, I was thinking about that, but let's just go the way I always go. I gotta get down here and settled. These wheel extensions ought to help me a little bit on the stability compared to what it used to be. But these tires are not the best ones you can get. Don't forget about that Easy Boy RC tags. Check out the RC plate shop and get yours. And then when you get here, I come down straight and then cut it kind of hard just to keep it going. But and then straighten back out. It does a slide, that's for sure, but it still made it look easy compared to what it would normally. 
I do not think these tires are going to go up this hill like uh, my high racks did on the other truck. Action. I unlocked them. Unlocked? Yeah. Yeah, you can do unlocked on the way down, no problem. So, gives you better steering and stuff. Hopefully, I'm getting some good lighting. I know the sun's kind of on it. It was actually, it's very hot out today, but under this bridge, it don't feel bad. Keep your wheels straight when you're on a hill like that. And don't kind of slow down a little bit. You, you can go slower in that truck. That truck will go really slow. There you go. Come this way now, back your way. You're gonna go off a cliff, babe. You can't see it. Yeah, keep coming this way. You're good, you're good, this way. There you go. And then when you get right down in here, now slow down some, because it will go slower. There you go. Nice, very nice. Yours got a little more control than the other one. Yeah, that's because it's got the Hobby Wing 1080. Right. Your truck will take off rolling downhill. This one doesn't. Oh, no. It's $44 uh, upgrade that we got to get for yours. Right. Well, guys, here's where it's going to get fun. I'm going to give this a shot with my new truck. Diffs are locked. When I do, it's going to be bad enough. Then... She's going to try it with my other baby. That's a scary thought. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to see what I can do with this thing. I'm going to catch it if it rolls too far. These tires probably just ain't going to do it, period. I don't know. Now, my uh, my Gen 8 with high racks did it like it wasn't nothing. So. Okay, okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, oh, good, good save. save. Uh, about broke it, but I got a good save here. I don't think I'm gonna get out of this stuff. So let's go ahead and do this. Now I got it. We're gonna try again. I just don't want it to tumble down too hard. That was actually pretty easy if I got that on camera. My steering on this thing, like I say, you got these big beast tires. I'm trying to stand on a hill where I can barely grip. Right. Not. Right. Come on down here and get a straight shot and don't go too fast. You got them locked in. Lock them back in if not. Oh, yeah. Alright. Nah, if I say lit off, that means lit off so I can catch it. <laughs> right. Go for it. You're alright. I think she'll make it pretty easy. Got to go a little bit faster, but there she goes. Nice. Stay in the middle. Slow down at the top. Slow down. Back up a little bit. Ah. Yeah. Let me get her straight again. Hold on. No, I don't want to break an axle doing that. It's going to bind. Now let me back up. You can't go back and forth on your steering so much because it puts you out of whack. But there you go. Now go ahead. Go slow over the top. Once your wheels crust it, then you're good. You might have to go a little bit fast. Back up. Get a little bit of speed, but not too much. Keep your wheel straight. You gotta get past that hump with the little speed. Oh no. Uh -oh. This time, give it a little speed and keep the speed up, but not too much at the top. There you go, there you go. Oops. Almost. Give it one more try. Sorry if I'm not getting it on video, but. All right, go out this side more. When you do, get up there, go ahead. Not that much, but back up. Just a little bit. Hold on. I can't stand on this hill and do this too easily. It's pretty slick. There you go. Cut it that way. Right. I was. You're all right. This truck just might not be able to do it. No. Let me try it once and uh, I'll leave you the video. Hold on a minute. Stay right there. I can't stand on this hill anymore. I'll come around. Well, as you see why this is so difficult now, this is a... I don't know, at the top here it's over 60, 70 degrees, if not close to a 90, so creep on out. Well, actually, I should have just hooked up the winch to it, that's what I should have did. I just cheated, that sucks. Alright, I'm going to work my way back down and see if I can get up there with it once while she records.
stay on that side. Um. Well, let's see if I can get this thing up or not. This is a challenge. Anyway. Well, I'm going to do something kind of crazy. I'm going to take mine back down and try to get a shot coming up this way. And if it flips, I'm screwed basically because I'm not down there to catch it. So We're going to have to just go on luck and skill, I hope. But they're only battle scars. And that's why we buy Traxxas. Uh, they can take a little bit of a beating compared to a lot of stuff. Let me point this down, Lord. There we go. Sorry, guys. This is a new uh, camera mount here, and it's a little different than what I'm used to. Creep it down and still roll. There we go. Yeah, if I wasn't to change that ESC, it wouldn't be nothing like that, man. Tell me. Uh, I'll tell you what, it would not be what any of what it does. That that slow stuff. Going slow, it might, but it wouldn't downhill. So, all right. Should I do with or without the diff lock? I wonder, because then it gives, does what it's supposed to, but this is dangerous stuff right here. I will slide after it if I have to, that's for sure. We're gonna get down and look at that safe. Awesome. If I'd have hit the brakes at any time, that wouldn't have went so pretty. Uh -huh. Don't have any kind of front weight in this thing. And I don't know which way I came out earlier when I done this, but. We're coming out of here, whether it wants to or not. I might have to just put my hand on it because I'm not going to take that chance. But it didn't take much. If I'd have had some weight on there. I've done it earlier, obviously, but I was a little more nervous where I can't catch it. So, <laughs> we did it, though. I don't think that come off the truck. No, it ain't off mine. Oh. No, that don't go to nothing I got. Well, I seen it flip off. I thought it was See how long I can keep it in there. <laughs> so, all right, now I'm gonna go back around this little spot right here again. You can follow me here again if you want. Uh, <laughs> traffic jam. I'm gonna see how far I can make it without losing that little black piece I put in the back. Well, my friends at Hello RC, they're the kings of their Cheerio challenge. If y'all haven't watched it, you have to check them out. And I'm thinking about maybe having some friends come over and doing a little challenge at the house, but I gotta keep it a little different. We're gonna do a Fruit Loop challenge. It's more suited to the people I know. So if anyone's interested in coming over for a Fruit Loop challenge, this is what's up. We just gotta make a little plan. We'll back up and get your bumper off the rod. There you go. Instead of ziggity zagging with the steering. There you go. All right, let's just creep through here real quick. Now we're playing. <laughs> All right, I have to try something. Somebody told me you can set cruise control if you pull the trigger and hit the set button. I don't wanna mess nothing up by doing nothing, but we're gonna find out if that works. It does, I'll be darned. Wow. I have cruise control right here. Now if you hit the brake, it's supposed to stop, it does. Nice. Did you 
Look, I watch, time. you give it just a, it's the top red button here. Okay. You give it just a tiny bit of throttle. Go as slow as you can. Right. Once you get it as slow as you can, hit that button and then let go of the trigger. There, we go. there you go. That's pretty cool. Now hit, hit the back button, it's like reverse. And that's to shut it off. Thank you, whoever that was, uh, Lewis something. I'll look at your name and I'll give you a proper thanks when I put this up. But thank you for telling me how to do that. Well, all right, I want to see the only difference in these electronics as far as the ESC. We got same ESCs and a Trailmaster motor. That's a 27 turn, mine's a 21. So we're going to see which one's actually faster. Are you ready? One, two, three. Okay, I guess we know mine's faster. Yeah. But anyway, just out of curiosity, I was wondering to bring it back. Now we know. Mine will do a wheelie from a dead stop almost, and I didn't expect that. <laughs> so anyway, now we know. All right, and just in case you're wondering, we're here at the Ferry Bridge Boat Dock again. And uh, my wife has already told me that she likes my truck. I think I gotta get her a Hobby Wing 1080 ESC. She's noticed the difference. So we're gonna come right here and play a little bit on these rocks without breaking nothing, hopefully. Well, all right, we're just gonna do a little mild climb here. We'll see how they do. You can go ahead and just follow me. It's all right. I'm gonna stay back here enough. Yeah, well, I'm thinking that if I stay over to this side right here, I'll get through here. I know my monster tires will. These monster tires and these portal axles is not going to have much challenge. Alright, I'm going to stop right here. I just keep going. It's a monster. There you go. Uh, back up just a little bit and come my way some. There you go. Right there. Now straighten out. Perfect. Perfect line. Oh, until you did that. Back up and keep your tire that way again. Oh, back up more. There you go. Now turn your wheels the other way. Hit that big rock. There you go. There you go. Sweet. Now that blazer ain't no joke either. That thing will go almost anywhere. Yeah. Let's see. We're going to just try to come right back down through this little valley here. Down is always a little bit. It's easier but harder at the same time. It is, but it's dangerous for the roll. But, but I think That's if we... Why you said this one has more control. It does. It does have more control. You'll see that in a minute. See here, look. Yeah. I'm just going as slow as I want downhill. Right. It's not going to take off on me. My servo is just weak. Uh, these tires being so big... Look at that flex this truck has. And it might not go, there we go, sweet. I got so much clearance here that yours is probably not gonna look that pretty. But you might might have no problems. Hold on a minute. Uh, ah, yeah, it was a beautiful run. All right, come right between them two rocks and go keep on the lowest path of the rocks you can find. No big ones between your tires and you're good. Nice, very nice. You're good. Beautiful job. Hold on one second. I'm just going to move that big rock because it don't need to be there. You made that look easy. Until there, <laughs> but that looked good. Ain't that right, Gil? Again? Yep, sure. All right, I'm gonna try to get this upper shot here. You can kind of follow. Since I'm at this angle, it'll be all right. Yeah, I've already just cleared a big old rock that could be a challenge for. Your average bear. Yeah, just like that. Look how nice and slow this crawls now. Here's where the fun comes in. Is I gotta get my rocks to clear these 
be right on that rock. And this, or my tires are clear of me. This thing is just a monster. Hint monster truck. All right, go ahead and hold up right there while I finish this little run. So I can, then I'll get zoomed on you. Look at that, three wheel motion. Keep it over here a little bit. There we go. This thing is a monster. All right, baby, give her a run. Yep, I come straight toward them rocks, just like you are. Oh, that bumper is going to hang in it. I knew your bumper might. Oh. There you go. You had it, I think. Come right there. There you go. Now cut it. There you go. Cut it hard this way. There you go. Oh. You'll make it. You just make it go. It don't matter. A little bit more. You, you'll make it. I think you might be hung just a touch. But easy, easy, easy. Gentle on the trigger. There you go. Very nice. All right, slow, hold up, let me back up. All right. I kept coming between these big rocks. Looks like football goals. There you go. Just a little bit of a boost. There you, ooh. There you go. There you go. Oh, nope, nope, nope. No. You're stabbed. You got to get your back up some more. You got to get your front tires bolted on that. There's another rock you got to back up to yeah. right there. Now cut it my way and come up right there. Right. Straighten out. No, nope. back up, back up. Now straighten out. Come straight. Up straight. Up. No, no. I was trying to get your tire on this one rock here. Okay, that'll work then. Go right there. No, nope. you're going to have to do it the way I was going. Right there. Now go straight. Turn your, towards you just a little bit. There you go. Now go my way. There you go. Okay. <laughs> We get too hung up. I got the truck with tow it out. There you go. Hold right there. I'm gonna back. I'm gonna hook up your bungee winch. She's a little bit hung up, so we're gonna take care of that right now. All right, we're gonna do a little bungee winching. Don't go yet. I'm just gonna put the tension on it, and then then after I get some slack, I'll let you try to go. All right, go ahead and go now. Just nice and slow. There you go. Cut it out this way. Straighten out. There you go. There you go. Cut it that way. There you go. Very nice. Hope I got that on video. Well, my bungee winch retractable setup has worked really good lately. Uh, as you can see, you just got to kind of feed it in just a little bit. Barely. And she does fine. Of course, now that I'm telling you about it, she's a little more hung up, but she works. All right, let's get on out of this crack hole here. That didn't even sound right. Yeah. All right, we're going to bring our path back down before we go. As you see, the Blazer just had to have a little assistance. That's what that's what your buddy on the trail's for. And I got the sun in this thing here. Let me try to get out of the sun. There we go. Come down over here. Come around this little rocky rock here. Oh. I'm kind of going away that I'm, I'm bulldogging through here just testing it out for flippage. And this thing, so many people underestimated this big truck when it was coming out. I'm going to tell you now. Because I haven't done nothing but put wheel extensions on it and some electronics. That ain't going to help the keeping it from flipping. Matt, right, you can just make your way down. I went that way. Yeah. And straight over. 
these rocks are going to hang you if you don't, so. Very nice. Just go, you'll be alright. There you go. Keep going. Straighten it up on the downhill. Don't cut your wheels on downhill. Always keep them straight unless you have to turn them. Now you can turn it that way some. Nice and slow and you'll be fine. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. Back up just a little bit. And kick it if you have to. But there you go. One more time. Very nice. She's becoming a pro, I'm telling you. Pro like no other. I'm about to do a little hill climb over here before we go, though. Go, go, go. Dang dragonfly scared the crap out of me just now. All right, back into low gear, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to creep up this thing if I can right here where the steepest part is. You can follow. Follow the leader, I guess. Pretty steep here, but as long as I don't pop a wheelie and roll backwards, we're good. Very nice. Oh, I don't know what I hit. Oh, it might have been my cutting the wheels real hard, but. Just go get it straight before you start coming down, yeah. Mm -hmm. Side hill and you'll be rolling. Nice and slow. Away we go. Yeah, see how we can control our speed downhill with this one? On your truck, my other truck, when you give it gas on downhill, it's going to roll until you lit off the gas. Yeah. It just like almost goes to a neutral for a minute. Right. Now, we can go the speed we want on a downhill. That's why the Hobby Wing 1080 is the best brushed ESC. They do make another one that can compete with it, but you got to solder the wires on, do all kinds of stuff. But even though it's a little cheaper, it's, it's a lot of work. So, pay $44, get the king of brushed ESCs out, right out the gate. So anyway, guys, I think, I think we're going to have to call it. That was a pretty fun ride today. We didn't go nowhere far. We just hung out here at the boat dock and had a little fun. Did a little torture test on the two of them and them rocks almost. But man, this thing continues to oppress. All I've done is put 10 millimeter wheel extensions to keep it from being so unstable. And you've seen it. I didn't flip it too many times. I don't even know if I did. Maybe on that one spot over there where I caught it. But she's a beast. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time, please like and subscribe. Peace.